Hello lovers, welcome back to my channel. Guys, This, um, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. If you're not, um, make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And today I am going to do a video which is a little bittersweet. Um, baby Nigel has been adopted and so I want to um, show him one last time before he leaves his details and um, some of the things that goes back in his box. Um, some stuff never even left his box, which is the funny thing, um, which is why, you know, anyway, but um, some of his things never left his box. Um, he is by far the most beautiful baby that I've ever collected as far as his painting is like flawless. Um, and so it's, um, you know, it's a, a sweet thing for the new mommy. It's a little bitter for me. Um, you know, some things, you know, come up and, you know, I just have to do what I have to do. Um, so this was not a, a, a pleasure sale, to be honest. Um, but, you know. So, I am going to, without further ado, I'm going to show, I wanted to show the back of his head, um, that he has all his hair. I will show the front in a minute. Um, he, as you can see, he has no rips in his arms right there, no rips in his arms there. He has all his fingers, no rips no tears, um, same with this one, no rips, no tears, um, let's see, and I will show you his armatures does work, um, again, no rips, no tears, as you can see in the back of his legs, there's no rips, no tears. Um, a very well kept baby. Um, I don't do a whole lot with my babies as far as, you know, like the extra stuff. I don't really bathe them and I don't put soap on them and <laughs> all that stuff. I'm going to get his diaper change. I'm going to flip him over, but I'm getting his diaper change before I show that bottom part of his area just because of YouTube policies. Um, so, I'm gonna get him on this diaper and then I will move the camera. He is the Willow Awake prototype number three. I'm the only mommy. I got him directly from Claire. Um, So his hair can kind of lay down or go straight but as you can see he's not missing any hair or eyelashes or anything like that um, again no tears um, his mouth is so good All right. so let's get a little bit closer look at him as you can see very beautifully detailed and painted he has a lot of mottling his feet he has no missing paint no rips no tears he's just gorgeous um so let me show you a few things that he came with some stuff I never even took out the pack which we typically do with these very expensive babies. Um, so the first thing is his first goodie bag that came with him, which Claire is very good at um, personalizing her bags. And it has his bottle that you just add water 
and with the blue nipple is still there his drinking wet bottle is still there you know well it's just a regular bottle that he can drink with a hole in it um this is his ky is still there his diapers his hospital hat is still there his hospital blanket is still here as i'm sure it's embroidered and said clear to the dog as well um then he has another little bag here that has his comb and brush his spray bottle in there he has a binky he has two binkies there's another binky in here somewhere oh, there it is and then he has his other binky in there this is his box with his little death shoes so Then he has his Will Beth outfit with the Will Beth hat. Yeah. Then he has these little outfits that came, which is two Carter outfits. He didn't have like a extreme lavish box up here, like some of their um, dolls. He came with. Um, I still have this blue bag that he he actually go in. Oh, so he'll go into that. Um, he was wrapped in three blankets, so I will wrap him the same. He has the embroidered blanket. That's this. Wait, that's this. Um. And then he has this, which, and then he has this polka dot blanket, which is up here. And this is something I, so let me see. And then he even have, I still even have the string that was wrapped around it, which I'll wrap around it again. He has his little blanket, which is this. And it's all a mess because I was actually going to lay it across here. And then he has, um, which I'm going to put him on this now. So let me show y'all. He has his lovey. So he has his willow lovey. Um, he has his diaper cover and his embroidered. Uh, onesie t-shirts so I'm gonna put that on him um, he has another blue little outfit that I'm gonna put on him after I get his underclothes on so yeah he is exactly the way that he was when I got him um, like I said, because I don't bathe him or, you know, put products on my babies and stuff like that. And I don't do it like a whole lot. I usually tend to hold them in blankets and stuff when I do hold them. Um, it keeps them in pretty good condition. And, um... But, so I'm going to put him on this, Yeah, it, it was like out of the blue too. I really hadn't been pushing for him to sell um, as much and um, the lady contacted me like late night and was like, was he still available? I mean, well, 
she had already asked a little while ago and then I told her yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and put him on his socks because it's just I'm not gonna put him on his shoes I think I'm gonna just leave his shoes in his shoe box but I'll put his socks on and these are socks that came with him. All right. So, and then this is another little Will Beth outfit. I'm going to put that on him as well. Some people slide their outfits up from the bottom and some do it over the top. I've started doing both ways, but I'm so used to going over the top that that's the way I'm doing it today. Um, yeah, it's, you know, like I said, it's, it's one of the things I think that, um, this is definitely a, a real wake up call for me that, um, these babies are totally out of my league right now and I'll probably not own a new, like a new directly from Claire Baby again, you know, because they're out of my price range. And to be honest, they're well worth every single penny because one thing is Claire is very innovative. Um, she's always coming up with new things. She's always evolving in her art and her babies always have a different look to them. So it's like you're always getting a new face. It's not like, you know, sometimes you see people just keep reinventing the same face over and over again, just tweaking it a little bit. She actually, you know, give us something new. And her the quality of her painting, her rooting, her silicone, her sculpting is so worth it. This is art. And um, I would never, as a fan, not want her to grow and make as much money as she can make because she's def she, she's definitely earned that and it's she's it's definitely worth it um but you know some of us just can't keep up and i i can't keep up anymore you know i have gabby i have you know just this is luxury items it's not you know stuff that's needed um for me so you know, so that's why they're always the first to go. <laughs> but as you can see, his armatures stay up or they go down. So his armatures are working. Um, so, yeah, yeah, his armatures, like I said, his armatures in both arms are working very well. Um, so, yeah, that is it, guys. Um. I think the hardest part is going to be putting him in the box. He still have his white box. Oh, his paperwork. He does still have his envelope with care instructions. Um, so he has like care instructions and His COA. Showing that he is prototype number three. Um, he is only nine months old. I got him in January. In February. January or February? I don't know. It might have actually been later than that. But that's when he was done. I don't know. But I I got him then. So yeah, so he'll come with his paperwork and he has his um, original white box, but then he'll be in another brown box because I don't know where that original brown box is, but um, the original box that they come in, he will be in that. And so, um, all right guys, so wish him well. Um, I hope that his new mommy takes very good care of him. I hope she falls in love with him. And, um, 
yeah i hope he hopefully he doesn't get traded around all over the place but i have no control over that um but uh, girls miss him and like i said bittersweet but i'm happy that someone else will get to love him enjoy him probably dress him cuter than i did and all that great jazz that's what usually happens they usually get dressed cuter and you know play with a little bit more than me so that's good so anyway that is that i'm hoping that i don't have to sell noah um because he at the moment will be the only claire teller baby that i have in my collection that's actually completed by her so see you guys later thanks for watching bye bye